A dog owner was at a pet crematorium to send off her 19-year-old corgi. On Dianping's app, a search for pet cremation yields dozens of privately owned crematoriums in the city. A young woman just had her dog incinerated. I guess this is best for him. He was really shy and I didn't want him to burn with the other dogs. We have professionals who go to their home, pick up the animal and soothe the owner. However, there are no regulations for these businesses. The only officially endorsed crematorium for animals in Shanghai is the Livestock Incineration Center out in suburban Fengxian. The center has to cut the animal into pieces, and some owners found that hard to live with. It's far out in the suburbs as well, and people would have to drive their animal over. And questions remain about which government department is responsible for regulating the industry and whether these businesses are operating safely. These private cremations should probably be regulated by the district governments. What district is it in? You should probably ask the district landscaping bureau. The lack of regulations could result in problems not yet evident. Some burial sites operated by the crematories are on agricultural or commercial land plots. This can result in future problems if the land is needed for another purpose. A private report on the pet industry in 2020 estimated about 3.6 percent of pet owners would consider cremation when their animal dies. 640 pet crematoriums opened between January and August 2020, a 450 percent increase compared to the same period in 2019. As many pet owners are grateful such businesses exist, Operators are calling on the government to devise regulations as soon as possible, trusting that this will help both pet owners and the crematoriums. Susan Xi, Shanghai Life.